Total AV has been on the scene for some time now, but does this credibility mean anything when it comes to their VPN? Is it good in such a saturated market, easy to use, and what makes it stand out? Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to use Total VPN, offering an easy to follow VPN tutorial so you can see if it's right for you. Just a heads up, if you don't yet have a subscription and you wanna invest after you see how Total VPN handles, be sure to use the link down below. Jumping right in with the VPN tutorial, I've got to start with the installation process. Total VPN is accessible via their antivirus app. It's an all-in-one bundle, and I've got the app ready to download here on my Windows device from their website. Installation is super easy, and the process is just like any other app. Just tap the button here, and it took about two minutes to install for me. Though there is a presentation of educational animations, I kind of wish they'd skipped, but that's neither here nor there. All right, anyway, after this, you'll need to enter your account details to access the VPN. And once inside, you'll be met with a dashboard that looks like this. Keep in mind, because Total VPN is compatible with all major operating systems, if you aren't using Windows like me, it could have a slightly different layout or missing features. What I will say is that all versions of the app tend to be beginner friendly. So here are the mobile versions with clean layouts. You'll be able to find everything you need in no time. And here's the Mac version against the Windows. I'd say I favor the Windows version because this is the only desktop version that has a kill switch, yet both have similar functionalities otherwise. With one account, you can connect six devices simultaneously, which is a fairly average number within the premium VPN world, but it's enough to protect all my devices. Couldn't have any less though. So now don't get overwhelmed here. It's a comprehensive package with various sections depending on your needs. The VPN itself is safe as far as industry averages go. See, Total VPN uses AES 256-bit encryption, which isn't the most modern, but it's still virtually unhackable. They are based in the UK, which could have privacy concerns for some because they're part of the Five Eyes Intelligence Sharing Alliance, yet they have a no logs policy, so that means they don't track or store users' information. This is yet to be audited though, so for now, it's just kind of a take our word for it sort of promise. Putting specifics aside, let's take a look under the hood in this Total VPN tutorial. After a little bit of use, I'd say Total VPN is easy to navigate, even for beginners, especially because of the simplicity of it all. The VPN section is located under the internet security part of the app, and you can find it via the fingerprint icon on the left. Here is the connect disconnect button, which is basically your answer to how to use the VPN to hide my IP. I like that this is accessible via one click as well. Otherwise, you'll see all these countries here and this kind of layout isn't as interactive as a map, I'll give you that, but it gets the job done when you wanna see what's available at a glance. I can browse over 50 servers across about 35 countries. Once I see one I like, I can just tap it or just press the connect button to automatically connect to the first server on the list. I've got two insights here. One, the number of servers and countries just pales in comparison to industry titans, but if you're just looking to secure your connection, there's more than enough with Total VPN. Two, I wish there was an option to automatically connect to the nearest or fastest server. This generally ensures more stable and faster speeds, yet with Total VPN, it's only possible with the mobile apps, or I have to manually find and click the closest server myself. Okay, what about this little slider button down on the left? This is your best friend and I recommend you slide it and always leave it on. The benefit is simple, this kill switch will cut your internet connection if your VPN isn't working. So in short, it makes sure your internet connection is not leaked at any point while you're online. What's nice with this feature is that there's also a way to set the kill switch to turn on automatically in case you're forgetful. In these settings, you're also gonna be able to modify the tunneling protocol. There's two options, v 2 and OpenVPN. OpenVPN, it's reliable, yet it's only available for Windows devices. Then the v 2 IPsec is a good protocol because it handles reconnections better than OpenVPN. It's easier to set up and it's specifically good 
for phones because most mobiles support IKV2 natively. So while these are all considered safe, they aren't as advanced as WireGuard or competing VPN protocols like NordVPN's Nordlinks. This disadvantage just means that the speeds can be a little lackluster in comparison to other providers and general activities like browsing should be stable, but for anything more like streaming or torrenting, you just might wanna consider another provider from our best VPN list instead. On that note, how do you stream with Total AV VPN? Is it possible at all? Well, I will say that you can, but it is quite difficult to unlock the most popular libraries here. It might be okay to access North America or European content, but due to the lower number of locations and slower speeds, you won't get the best streaming experience overall. For the same reason, I didn't have the best torrenting experience either. While yes, I was happy there are P2P suitable servers and no leaks, which is optimal for a safe torrenting experience, the speed just kind of lets it down. But a huge advantage of TotalVPN is the bundle gives you lots of additional value. For instance, with their package, you get the VPN, you get a top tier antivirus and an ad blocker. A lot of other VPNs that offer these tools don't have as much functionality. So take their antivirus, for example. I can run full scans. There's real time protection, monitoring my device around the clock and optimization tools for when I do resource intensive activities. Not to mention the ad blocker is an extension that increases my browsing security tenfold. It blocks intrusive ads I might encounter online. And what's more important, all this costs about half of what you'd pay for a whole year with ExpressVPN. So while you might not have considered getting a bundle, the price is worth it for sure. So what's my takeaway from this how to use TotalVPN video? It's simple, it's to the point, and it's easy for any beginner to get the hang of. Yet that doesn't mean they've scrimped in terms of what you can get. It's truly a whole cybersecurity arsenal. Sure, you're not gonna get as much functionality as providers like NordVPN or Surfshark, especially in terms of streaming and torrenting, but for standard everyday use, TotalVPN is great. Of course, with the additions of the antivirus and ad blocker to further enhance your online security and make your money go further. But if you need more info in the future, you can definitely subscribe to the channel for updated TotalVPN review videos, and hey, I appreciate your time, thanks for watching, and let me know how you're liking TotalVPN down in the comments.